My story begins a long time ago. And I mean a long, long time ago. I grew up in a small town in Europe with my family and inherited a great deal of money. Being wealthy, however, meant nothing to me. It was more important that the people around me were happy and healthy. So I gave away all I had to those who needed it most. Once a year, in celebration of Christmas, I deliver gifts to the children of the world. As you've probably guessed, I'm St. Nicholas, also known as Nick Claus, or as most people know me, Santa. In the beginning, I managed my little operation alone until the night I met her, Jessica. I fell for her harder than a sack full of coal. Well, like any classic love story, I proposed, we got married, signed a magical contract, and lived happily as Mr. and Mrs. Claus of the North Pole. For many centuries, we grew old together, expanding the toy-making business. I ran the workshop, checked my growing naughty and nice lists, definitely more than twice, and Jessica was by my side the whole time. For a while, at least. As the years passed, things started to change. Jessica didn't decorate our home, bake cookies for the elves, or even wish me off on Christmas Eve. I tried everything that I could think of. I'm not sure what's going on with her, but she said that she wanted to spend Christmas with me this year. And so I planned to do just that. I assured her that she is my priority. And I have the perfect plan to prove it to her. Mrs. Claus, you can't go in there. Santa isn't ready yet. Mrs. Claus, please, it's supposed to be a surprise. Kingston, out of my way. Mrs. Claus. Jessica, what are you doing here? You said things would be different this year. And they will. You said that I would be your priority this year. And you are. You said that we would be spending Christmas together this year. We are. Well, unless Kingston is delivering all the presents around the world, I don't see how that's happening. Ta-da! Ta-da! What? It looks like your sleigh is packed up and ready to go. It is. And? And? Oh. No. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. And why not, Jingle Bell? It, it'll be so romantic. I'll take you around the Eiffel Tower and through the pyramids of Giza. While you deliver toys to billions of children around the world. Oh, Jessica. We have been married for 1,720 years. Yeah. And you knew my job when you married me. Oh, your job? Your job, Nick? You brought this upon yourself. You created Santa Claus. I'm self-employed. Then you can quit whenever you want. What? Oh, oh no, I can't. Uh, the children of the world, they, they count on me. They count on you because it's what you decided 17 centuries ago. I mean, you were so rich, Nick. We could have been so happy. Jessica, we are happy. Aren't we? Maybe you are. Jessica, what are you saying? I'm saying that I'm not. I want a divorce. <gasps> Jessica. Jessica, wait. Nick, I'm sorry, but I, I'm done. I, this has been a long time coming. Will you at least come with me tonight? I had the whole sled redesigned so that you could ride with me. I would, but I just really don't want to. 
You promised me that we would spend Christmas together this year. And we will. No, not like that. I, I don't want to come second anymore. I want my own life. I want to be with someone who puts me first. But I do put you first. I want to be with someone who puts me first every day of the year. You can't do that. Jessica, you knew that when we were first married. I was young and in love. I, I, I thought I could handle it. Well, I thought wrong. Jessica, I still love you. No, you don't. You love the idea of having a jolly Mrs. Claus waiting for you with milk and cookies when you get home from your yearly trip around the world. Well, you do make the best cookies. Kingston makes them. Oh. What about the rest of the year? Oh, when you're keeping up with the naughty and nice list and training the reindeer and researching all the latest toy trends, I can't do it anymore. You do understand what happens if we sign the divorce scroll. Not if, when, and yes, I do. Becoming 40 again is exactly what I want. I mean, I'd rather be 25, but I'll take 40. Will you at least think about it? Oh, I've been thinking about it for the past 500 years. I'm done. The scroll will be waiting for you when you get back. Sign it, Nick. You have to do it first. You know that. Yeah. I will. Thank you. Now. You have a nice trip. I'll see you when I get back. No. You won't. Jenna, it's time. Yeah. <clears throat> They're well made, comfortable, and super cute. Um. It's time for bed. Santa won't come if we're still awake. I'm doing a live, honey. Come here. Like I said, super cute. My son Hayden here wears a size 10, which he'll be putting on any minute now. Use the offer code NEV20 to get 20% off your order. That's my name, N-E-V-E, -E, plus the number 20 for the percent you're going to get off on your order through New Year's Day. Merry Christmas. And may God bless us, everyone. Nice ending, Hayden. You missed watching your Christmas carol with us. I know, honey. I'm sorry. Mommy had to work. Well, are you done? It's time for our story. Of course I'm done. Let's go. I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Come on, CJ. Time for bed. Just one more chapter, Mom. It's almost 10. It's not like we have any school tomorrow. Clarissa Jean. Just one more chapter, please. <sighs> Fine. One more chapter, but that's it. Thanks, Mom. Love you, honey. Love you, too. Hey, Mom. Yes, honey? Merry Christmas. 
Merry Christmas, CJ. After the year we've all had, I'm sure you could use one of these. to drink and drive, are you? What? No. Of course not. It's just a little joke from your mom. You know my mom. <laughs> of course I do. I know everyone, Hayden. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm also supposed to know when you're sleeping and when you're awake. Sorry, boss. It's all good, Kingston. Hayden's going right back to sleep, aren't you, Hayden? As soon as I get my glass of water. All right, well, hurry. You know as well as I do that I can't put out your gifts if you're watching me. Okay. Kingston, is anyone else in the house awake? No. This can't happen again tonight. It won't, I, I promise. Who are you talking to? Oh. Well, I'm talking to Kingston, my head elf at the North Pole. Can I come to the North Pole, too? <laughs> oh, I'm afraid not, Hayden. Hurry now, off to Kip so I can lay out your gifts and move on to my next stop. Yes, sir. Merry Christmas, Santa. Merry Christmas, Hayden. And I mean it about the drinking and driving. It's against the law. <laughs> I won't. I promise. It was a great run, Santa. You made terrific time. I am quite surprised. Oh, I thought making it a two-seater would give us more drag, but oh, it actually went faster. Better weight distribution, maybe. Oh, something like that, I guess. Um, Nick, the uh, paperwork Mrs. Claus requested is on your kitchen table. Listen, I'm here for you. If you need anything, just let me know. I know you are, dear friend. I know you are. Do you want me to come with you?
He said he would. Santa always does what he says he'll do. What was that? An earthquake? At the North Pole? It was the spell being broken. What spell? Don't you know anything, Dakota? Santa is magic. And when he devoted his life to the children of the world, God granted him immortality. He didn't want Santa to live alone, so he granted immortality to his wife and any of their immediate family in the marriage doctrine. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I've been married to Santa for over 1,700 years, and I'm finally free. We can go back to our younger selves. Mrs. Claus? It's Jessica now. Uh, Jessica? What? <laughs> What? Oh my god. Am I young again? Yeah? Am I hot? Tell me I'm hot. Oh, I need to go see. Oh, look at me. Just look at me. Oh. The sleigh is ready for you, Mrs. Uh, oh. Jessica. I'm not taking the sleigh. You're not? Oh. No, I've made other arrangements. Oh, right on time. Oh. We'll bring your things outside. <laughs> I don't need those old things anymore. I mean, look at me. I'll just get new clothes when I get where I'm going. A lot has changed in the last 1,700 years. Please, I can get anything I want looking like this. Oh, well, toodles. Mm. Oh. Dibs on her shoes. I'm going to try all my new clothes on after breakfast. That's a good idea, Peyton. You got so much. We can exchange whatever doesn't fit next week. Do you like your new gloves, Mom? I love them. I love all the gifts you kids got for me. Why didn't Santa bring you any gifts? She didn't make a Christmas list. Adults don't make lists for Santa. Why not? Because I have everything I need with the three of you. You know, I met him last night. Who? Santa. No, you did not. I did. I needed a glass of water. Why didn't you wake me up? I tried. You were asleep. Are you sure you weren't just dreaming, Hayden? I was not dreaming. I really meant it. Yeah? Where? In the living room. He was looking at the beer Mom gave him. Mom! You gave Santa a beer? It was a joke. I told him to not drink it dry. Hayden! Come on, Hayden. You can go play with your toys, and I'll go try on my clothes. OK. Dishes, sweetheart. It's okay, Mom. I got it. It's Christmas. Go read your new book. I need to finish my old one first. Then do that. You shouldn't be cleaning up after breakfast. Mom, listen. All you do is work and take care of the three of us. You need a better life. What? I love my life. You're lonely. I am not. I've got you guys. Besides us, Grandma, Stacy, Anna, and Raven. You work with them. They don't count. I have friends, CJ. Of course you do. Peyton and I were talking last night. Uh oh, that can't be good. This is serious. <laughs> OK, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Proceed. So Peyton and I were talking last night, and we agreed that you need a boyfriend. What? No. Mom, come on, you're hardly even 40. I'm not dating anyone anymore. I always said that after your dad left, you'd be my priority. But you could have dated on the weekends when he was still alive and we were with him. Clarissa Jean, we are not having this conversation. Yes, we are. Listen, Mom, it's been six years. You're young. You're smart. You're beautiful. I don't know why any guy wouldn't want to date you. I'll think about it, okay? I can stay home with Peyton and Hayden. I'm 14. It's not that. I'm not telling you to just go out and marry somebody. Go be an adult. 
Go have fun. Did Peyton put you up to this? No. Who flipped a coin? I lost. Fantastic. Are you sure you don't need any help? I'm sure. Go relax. Thanks, Mom. I'm Santa. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Santa was was old and wrinkly and chubby. Hey, not that chubby. Help! <laughs> Kingston, it's me. I, I I went back to being forty when Jessica signed the divorce decree. Prove it. Okay, fine. I, I found you on a frozen lake in Canada in 1635. I, I wrapped you in a blanket and I brought you back here to the North Pole. You're my head elf and my best friend. Santa. Yes, it's me. Nick? Yeah. I didn't recognize you. <laughs> no kidding. So, I'm your best friend? Of course you are. Oh, can I make you a coffee? No. I got it. Okay. Can you make me one? Sure. What's with the robe? You look like you're going to a bunny party or something. Yeah, well, at this point, none of my clothes fit, so... I think I'm gonna have to have Lincoln make me a few outfits. I'll call him. We can go over to the workshop after coffee. He wasn't supposed to be in today, but I'm pretty sure he won't mind coming in. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. So what is this big secret emergency? And where is Santa Claus? Hi, Lincoln. Santa? Yep, yeah, it's me. What happened? I'll explain it all later. He just needs some clothes. I can see that. Yeah, probably just an outfit or two. I can take the sleigh and go shopping in the US later. Ugh, go to Paris or Milan. Yeah. I think I'd prefer sweats to suits at this point, Lincoln. Suit yourself. Did you see what I did there? Now's not the time to be making jokes. Uh, don't get your tinsel in a tangle, Kingston. I'm trying to lighten the mood here. I appreciate that, Lincoln. Then again, the mood definitely lightened last night as soon as your lesser half left the North Pole. Lincoln, what? I'm not wrong. None of us ever liked her. Really? Oh, d don't be, don't be sad, boss. Yeah, now you can live your best life without that past wife. Lincoln, that's enough. Wait, how did you know that she left? We all heard her say she wanted a divorce, Santa. And now here you are and 
just look at you. I don't ever remember you looking like this. Yeah, it's definitely been a while, that's for sure. Well, I'll help you look like the new man that you are, and she'll regret ever walking away from you. Well, I sure hope so. I'm sure she already does. Step on up, Santa. Okay. I'll create a fabulous new outfit for you in no time. He just needs regular clothes. Fine. Those two. Thank you. is for you from Oliva Simani. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Aunt Nev. You're welcome, sweetheart. I'm sorry it's late. That's OK. Mom's been working a lot since Christmas. At least you get to spend some time with us now. Yeah. Open your present, Imani. OK. <gasps> Do you like your fresh doll? She's positively perfect. I picked her out. She looks just like you. She really does. There's more in the bag, Amani. Clothes! I picked those out, too. Can I put them on her, Arnav? She'll look just like Mom. Sure. Just don't get anything on her. I won't. Here, let me help. Who are you looking at? Him. Don't point. It's rude. I think I know him. How? I don't know. Know who, honey? That guy over there. I know I've seen him before. Oh, is he an actor or something? Hayden! What? He caught me staring at him. He caught all of us. Don't just Wave at strangers, Hayden. Especially strange men. Now he's going to kidnap you. Peyton? What? No, he's not. Stranger danger, Hayden. Peyton, stop that. You're scaring your brother. I don't want him to kidnap me. He's not going to kidnap you. Maybe you should talk to him, Mom. What if he's a single kidnapper? CJ. Please talk to him, Mom. Tell him to not kidnap me. I'll be right back. Thank you. Mom, wait. What? Fix your lipstick. Hi. Hi. I'm so sorry we were staring at you. It was rude. No, don't worry about it. I feel like I stick out like a sore thumb around here anyway. No, you don't at all. My son thought he knew you. Ah. Well, I do have a familiar face, I suppose. You'd be surprised. I get that all the time. Can you do me a favor and just nod for me? Nod? Yes. Just nod like you're agreeing to something. What exactly am I agreeing to? It's silly. Just nod so I can tell my son you agreed. Well, if I'm being completely honest with you, he looks terrified. Yeah, he is. Because of me? Because of his sister. Can you please nod? Well, as a general rule, I, I really don't like to lie, even if it's for a favor. Uh, would you mind just telling me what I'm agreeing to? that you're not going to kidnap him. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I certainly wasn't expecting that. I told you it was silly. Yes. I promise I will not kidnap your son. Have a good day. And you too. <laughs> Is 
So, what's his name? Mr. Not a Kidnapper? He's not gonna kidnap me? Of course not. Darn. Finish your lunch so we can get going. Thank you so much for our Christmas gifts. You didn't have to do that. I wanted to. I hope you guys had a great Christmas. We did, thanks. We actually got you something too, but we didn't get to see you before Christmas. You shouldn't have. Thank you guys. This is just a little something for you and the kids. We wanted you to have it for Christmas Eve, but you could still use it for New Year's. Oh, wow. This, this is so generous. Thank you guys so much. Oh, you're gonna love it. It's a great spot. Thank you. We absolutely will. Plus, you get to take all of these. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. It is. You want me to carry it out for you? No, it's okay. I'm good. We're gonna see you at our New Year's Eve party, though, right? Yeah, you should come. It's gonna be fun. Uh, I don't know. Why not? Everyone I know from here is married. I feel a little self-conscious being by myself. So bring someone. No, <laughs> it's okay. Thank you for the invitation, but I'm sure my kids want to celebrate with me. All right, well, if you change your mind, the offer still stands. Thanks, guys. Hey, Mom. Hey. Did you get any clothes? Not this time. Some jewelry, though. Mm, can I see? Yeah. These look like Valentine's Day presents. That's what I was thinking. All this stuff seems to be Valentine's related. Look at this. It's a three-month trial for marymatches.com. You should try it. Let me see that. Marymatches.com. Oh, no. No way. Come on, Nick. At least take a look at it. Absolutely not. I mean, Jessica hasn't even been gone a month. I need time to grieve. Actually, Nick, yesterday was a month. Really? Yeah. You haven't left this house since December 27th, when you went shopping. Today is January 26th. You've been on a self-imposed house arrest for one month. You haven't even been down to the workshop. Are we behind? No. Lincoln, Dakota, and I have been handling everything. Thank you. Nick, you've got to get yourself out of this rut. You're not yourself, and no one likes a sad Santa. I know. I, I just thought she would have come back by now. Who, Jessica? No, the Easter Bunny. You're dating the Easter Bunny? No. I'm sorry, Kingston. Yes, Jessica. Nick, she isn't going to come back. Not unless she wants something. I mean, she did send a couple of scrolls that one time, She but... did? Why didn't you tell me? It was about money. Apparently, things have gotten a lot more expensive around the world since she moved to the North Pole. Well, I guess a thousand years is a lot of inflation. Yeah, well, she left you. She doesn't deserve anything. But you, Nick, you deserve to be happy. Yeah, I guess. I'm trying. Are you, though? Because there's nothing in here that's going to make you happy. You think something out there can? You never know unless you look. I mean, I barely even know how to use the computer. Then I'll do it for you. You? Yeah. Really? Just call me your merry matchmaker. Why do I feel like I'm gonna regret this? Oh, it'll be fine, Nick. In fact, it'll be more than fine, it'll be fun. Have faith, my friend. Where are you going? To set up your dating profile. You'll have a date by the end of the week. Joyce? That's me. Uh, 
These are for you. Oh, these are beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm sorry they're not poinsettias. Well, your profile said you liked Christmas. It does. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Of course it did. <laughs> and I do. Um, should we go inside? Uh, sure. Is something wrong? You're not what I expected. I'm not what you expected? It's just you're so... Tall? Young! Oh! <laughs> oh, um... Thanks? Your picture on the website. Oh, I took that picture the night I created my account. No, you look exactly like you look now. I don't understand. Just, I thought you used a photo of yourself when you were younger. You have to be younger than my daughter. Oh! <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> I'm just not comfortable dating a young man. No? No. I thought you put up a picture of a handsome young man, but in actuality, you looked exactly like Santa Claus. Hence, the outfit. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Well, I, I understand. But we are here, and I'm hungry. Tell you what, what do you say we go inside and have that lunch? After, you and I go our separate ways. That sounds lovely. Very well. Neat? Nev. Ozzy? Yeah, nice to meet you in person. <laughs> <clears throat> May I take your coat? Oh, I'll just put it on the back of my chair. Okay. Uh, let's check in. Great. Thank you for meeting me for lunch. My kids are in school. Just makes things easier. Yes, no problem. Uh, two under the name O-P-U. O-P-U? <laughs> That's cute. Uh, no, O-P-U. <laughs> my kids would love that. <laughs> Love what? The joke. Making a reservation under the name O-P-U. P-U. <laughs> P-U. Right. Like Amanda Hug and Kiss or Al Kohal. But I, I think you're supposed to get them to say the name. That is my name. What? O-P-U, Ozzy P-U, Oscar P-U, if you want to get formal. Right. I am so sorry. Right this way. This is a really nice restaurant. I'm actually not familiar with this area. I used to come here with my late husband all the time. Oh, I'm so sorry. We could have gone somewhere else. Why? They have a terrific early bird special. Early bird special. I, I'm not familiar with that term. If you come in for dinner between four and six, there's a nice discount. Plus, I brought a coupon for you from the newspaper. Ah, so that's why we're eating so early. You don't mind, do you? No, of course not. I'm glad. I want to be home in time for my stories. And then Hayden is eight. He's the same age as my son, Cliff Jr. Do you have any other children? Six-year-old, Mercedes. I'm sorry, do you mind if I answer that? It's their mother. She has them tonight. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, what's up, Keisha? No, I'll get him at 9. I told you Monday I'd get him at 9 o'clock. Because I'm busy. No, I'll get him at 9. Everything okay? Not everything's fine. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. I just wanted to make sure my kids were okay. Uh, are yours with your ex? No, he, uh, he passed away a few years ago after we divorced. I don't know if I should say I'm sorry to hear that or not. <laughs> you can answer that, you know. <sighs> Thank you. Keisha, stop calling me. Is there an emergency? No, babe. I told you I'd get him at 9. 9 o'clock. 
Goodbye, Keisha. Exes are the worst. <laughs> Tell me about it. I wish mine was dead, too. Oh. No. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. That wasn't called for. You should probably get that. Yeah. I'll be there in 20 minutes. This is the last time I tell you I'm going on a date, Keisha. So your profile says that you love Christmas. Mm, I do indeed. Me too. The baking and the decorating and the cooking. Oh, it's just... Delivering toys to children? Exactly. You know, I have nine grandchildren. Nine? I do. And if my daughter wasn't married to that idiot, I'd introduce you to her. Oh. <laughs> oh. Carol, if you don't mind me asking, why did you agree to a date with me if you weren't interested? Interested? Like romantically? Oh, you're too young for me. But your profile said that you like games. That I do. Well, so do you know how to play bridge? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Are you any good? Well, I suppose so. Why do you ask? My partner had a stroke, and I really need a partner for this Sunday's tournament. Are you in? <laughs> and when we broke up, I thought I'd never get married. So I gave up. And that's when I get the free trial to marry matches. Yeah, it's been a while for me, too. So, um, Anthony, about your mustache. Yeah, I know it's on my picture. I should have <laughs> taken a new one, but this is only three weeks of growth. Three weeks? Yeah, I'm a pretty hairy guy. I always wanted to grow a mustache, but I never had the guts. What do you think? It's, uh, it's a lot different than your profile. It does make you look a bit older. Yeah, I know. I always had a baby face. I thought this would make me look more my age. And you like it? Yeah, I love it. It gives me a 1980s cop vibe. It's fun. You've never had a problem with it? No. I can't imagine anything ever going wrong with it. Facts. I'm thinking about maybe making it a permanent fixture. Does that bother you? No. No, not at all. Plenty of women like facial hair. I was hoping you'd say that. So, none of them worked out? No. Not one. I don't understand. They were perfect on paper. I mean, their hobbies included baking and crafts, and each of them loved kids. Yeah. They were all grandmothers. Well, Valentine's Day is next week. If Cupid finds out that you're still single, I know, I know. I just don't understand what was wrong with each of these women. Nothing. They were all perfectly nice women. So what's the problem? Kingston, I'm 40 years old now. No, you're not. You're 1,750 years old. <laughs> no, I know that's how old I really am, but, but I look, I feel, I act. I think like I'm 40 years old and well, I need to be with someone my own age. Someone that I can grow old with at the same pace, you know? Oh. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna magically turn into jolly old Santa Claus when I meet the new Mrs. Claus. We get to experience life together. I get it now. Santa? Not her. Kingston. Santa? Nice. Santa. Fine, I'll go get her. Dakota, what are you doing here? I have a delivery for Santa. <sighs> Come on in, I guess. Hi, Santa. Oh, hi, Dakota. What do you have there? Valentine's. Valentine's? But Santa, to be exact. And where exactly did this come from? Kingston told me he was putting you on merry matches 
And I decided to take a more traditional approach. That wasn't supposed to be public knowledge. Don't worry, I didn't tell anybody. Neither did I, except for Dakota. I just put a small ad in newspapers around the world and Valentine's just came rolling in for you. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, Santa. You should go out with my mom. Hmm. Christmas is her favorite holiday and you'd be an awesome stepdad. Love, Jake. <laughs> okay, maybe I shouldn't have said Santa was single. Dakota, really? I... Dear Santa, happy Valentine's Day. Please date my grandma. She makes the best Christmas cookies and I know you'd love her. From Andrew. Okay, are all of these from kids that want me to date their moms? Or grandmas? I think so. I'm sorry, Santa. It's okay, Dakota. Ooh, this smells nice. Smells nice? Yeah, like someone sprayed perfume on it. Ooh. Mm. Well, what does it say? Roses are red, violets are blue. You have a broken heart and I do too. Maybe we can help each other, wouldn't that be great? Please tell me you'll be my Valentine's Day date. It's cute. Very. Oh, she's pretty too. Kingston, it's not all about the looks. Well, she is more age appropriate. Hmm, she is. Oh, and it says here that she's gonna be at a restaurant on Valentine's Day at 7 p.m. And she made a reservation for two just in case. <gasps> You should go. No. You should go, Santa. No Come on, Santa. You have to go. You gotta go. Dakota, go, go. No. Yes, 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 yes. Go, no, go, go. You no, gotta no, go. No, no, just no, go. No. Come on. Just okay. go. Okay. 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 He's gonna go. And then that's it. No more dates after this. Well, I mean, maybe you could just take a break. No. This is it. I have a good feeling about this. <sighs> Not only are they beautiful, they're sustainable. You can order online at www.motifny.com and use the offer code NEV15 for 15% off. Oh, NEV, I heard that the uh, Motif packing cubes aren't the only thing you're checking out for Valentine's Day. <laughs> what do you mean, Anna? I was talking to your daughters. They told me that you're on MerryMatches.com. MerryMatches.com offered you a membership in exchange for a review. That's what I heard. <laughs> well, um... I'm still trying it out. I mean, there's a plenty of single people looking for dates for tomorrow night for Valentine's Day. Tell us about it. Well, I've never tried online dating before, but MaryMatches.com is very easy to navigate. Plus, the site is super safe and secure. And the guys? <laughs> it's a great site. No one can see your photos or information unless they request it and you approve them. Once requested and approved, you can chat with each other. Once you've sent a total of five messages back and forth, you have to lock down and meet in person. But how do they know if you've actually met? Well, you can't give out any contact information. The site blocks it and there's no way around it. So you meet in person to actually exchange info. Oh, that's pretty smart. It really is. Yeah. So have you gone on any dates? I have. And? I mean, don't leave us hanging here, Nev. <clears throat> and they've been very nice but none have turned into a second date. Come on, you're not gonna give up though, right? Maybe, I'm taking a little break from the online dating right now. But tomorrow's Valentine's Day. We can find you a date for Valentine's Day. Huh, a first date on Valentine's Day? No, thank you. No, I'm with Nev here. I mean, a first date on Valentine's Day, it's just way too much pressure. Everything's gotta be perfect. Maybe I'm crazy. 1-800-330-9999. What do you think? Valentine's Day, first date, good idea, bad idea. It's Anna and Raven. Stacy, hi. I'm sorry I'm late. No, don't worry about it. But I can't be late for work. I know. I didn't expect the segment to run so long. Mm, I heard it. You did? I did. Nev, what are you thinking? Thinking about what? Mary matches? You shouldn't do online dating. You have kids. What do kids have to do with it? Besides, Peyton and CJ wanted me to try it. It's dangerous. I mean, you're putting yourself out there for everyone to see. I already do that with the vlog and radio, not to mention my social media. Uh-uh, uh-uh, girl, this is different, okay? Like, you're inviting people to contact you, and you're even meeting some of them in person. You don't know what people look up about you. People are crazy, Nev. That's all I'm saying. I'll be careful. Trust me, I'm not gonna let anyone anywhere near my kids till we've been dating for a while. Look, it's been a while since you've been in the dating game. Six years. No, it's been six years since John died. Seven since you were divorced. 
And are you really gonna tell me you dated that one year he had the kids on the weekends, hmm? Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I thought. Look, things have changed, Ned. People have changed. I know, but I don't know how to meet anyone anymore. I'm not gonna go meet some guy at a bar. And I'm not suggesting you should, but maybe you should let your girl set you up with someone. You want to set me up with someone? Like, why not? He's almost divorced, and this is his first Valentine's Day alone. Man. He's not even divorced yet. Stace, come on! Right. Look, take it easy, okay? Go light, and no pressure. What's his name? Alex from Radiology. <laughs> and you really live at the North Pole. I do. With Alps and everything. <laughs> yes, with elves. Uh, they're actually the ones that convinced me to come on this date with you. <laughs> I just expected you to look different. Right. A little bit more like Santa. Yes. Jolly, chubby, wrinkly. Rosy cheeks, white beard. Yes, I mean. You're not even wearing the suits. Well, I only wear that when I'm working. Working? Uh, yeah, delivering gifts to the children around the world. Right, of course. Okay. You don't believe I am who I say I am, do you? I mean, it is a little out there, you know? Then why ask for a date if you weren't even interested? Well, I was coming here regardless. My husband and I... Whoa, wait a second. Your husband? My ex-husband. Soon to be ex-husband. We're in the middle of a divorce. Go on. We used to come here every Valentine's Day. Since college. This is our first Valentine's Day. Not together. I'm so sorry to hear that, Vanessa. You know, maybe it's just too soon for you to start dating again. Oh. You're a therapist now. Some guy pretending to be Santa Claus to get dates can tell me I need to work stuff out before I start dating again. No, 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 that, that's not what I meant at all. And I'm not pretending. Got to be kidding me. Hello, happy Valentine's Day. Do you guys have a reservation with us tonight? Yes, under Alex Spader. Alex Spader? Ah, yes, there you are. Right this way, please. Thank you. Is everything all right? Vanessa? Alex, how could you? How could I? How could you? This is our restaurant. So what are you doing here with him? Uh, hey, for the record, this is just our first date. So you go out on your first date on Valentine's Day at our restaurant. Hey, we're having our first date on Valentine's Day at this restaurant, too. No one asked you. That's not very nice. No one asked you either, Saint Nick. You know what? I think I'm just going to go. Oh, good idea. I'll walk you out. This is how it goes. Oh, no, no. This is how it goes. No, absolutely. With him? Yeah. Really? Ordering absolutely. shrimp? I think this might go down in the books as the worst Valentine's Day I've ever had. Yeah. Definitely the most awkward one for me. Same. Yeah. Note to Elf. Do not date someone who's still married. You know, my friend set me up with him. She said they were getting divorced. Well, I think getting divorced and being divorced are two completely different things. They really are. Mm, yeah. Hey, you're the kidnapper from the mall. Excuse me? <laughs> Don't you remember? I came up to you the day after Christmas. My son waved at you. Right, Hayden. Mm -hmm. I remember. I'm sorry, I, I would have recognized you sooner. It's just this whole date or whatever it was just really threw me off. It really is a small world. You have no idea. So, what's your story? Oh, uh, well, at this point, I've been divorced less than two months. Yikes. Still fresh? Yes and no. I mean, I guess I saw it coming. You're lucky. I didn't. Hmm. Well, I don't know about lucky. 
I was watching a movie on the couch with my husband one night, and the next morning he told me he was in love with someone else. And he moved out by dinner and left me with our three kids. That was eight years ago. Yeah, Jessica and I didn't have any kids. You didn't want any? I did. Yeah, I, I really did. She didn't. Yeah, she changed her mind once we got married. That's tough. John did. He just uh, had some kind of midlife crisis. Sorry. If you don't mind me saying, you seem a little young to be married to someone going through a midlife crisis. Well, John died when he was 36, so I guess that would make midlife around 18 for him. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't realize. No worries. We all have our skeletons, right? <laughs> you could say that again. I, I'm Nick, by the way. Nev. Nice to meet you, Nev. Nice to meet you, too. I'm gonna get a car. Do you live nearby? Uh, no. Um, I, I'm kind of hungry, though. You feel like grabbing a bite? I don't know if we're gonna find a restaurant with last minute availability on Valentine's Day. You like pizza? Funny. What is? Just the way things work out. What do you mean? Well, tonight, for instance. It went from being the worst Valentine's Day I've ever had to the best. The best? Really? Yeah. The best one that I can remember. I mean, I don't think I've been able to just sit and enjoy someone's company without worrying about what they're going to think about me in a very very long time. You know, it's been one of the best for me, too. No pressure, just fun. <laughs> yeah. Can I see you again? Yeah, I would love that. Here. I will. Dashing through the snow in one horse open sleigh, o'er the fields we go. Wow, well, well, someone's certainly in a good mood. Jessica? In the flesh. Remember when I used to look like this? Uh, yes. I just don't remember so much of you being on display. It's what's in style now, Nick. Not like you've ever paid any attention to style. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing here, Jessica? Well, I just thought I'd pop in and check on you. I mean, we were together for a really, really long time. That's really kind of you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, why the good mood? You, um, meet someone? Yeah. No. <laughs> I guess so. I, I don't know. Kind of had an accidental first date tonight. Accidental? Yeah, but it's a long story, and I'm sure you don't have to. What's her name? Who? Your accidental date. Oh, right. Um, Nev. Her name's Nev. Wait, is she the one you went to Connecticut for? Who told you I went to Connecticut? Oh, Dakota was so proud of herself for setting you up on a date. I'm sure she'll be thrilled to hear it went so well. Yeah, I think it's time for you to go. Wait. Um. I wanted to talk to you about something called alimony. What is alimony? Okay, well, it's what the guy I'm seeing pays his ex-wife so that she can live the way they lived when they were married. I don't owe you anything, Jessica. Nick, I was a loyal and faithful wife to you for nearly 2,000 years. Yeah, and I took care of you during that whole time. Exactly, which is my marital standard of living. What does that even mean? Well, it means that I've grown accustomed to living a certain way and that you have to provide it for me. Okay. I don't have to provide anything for you. You signed the decree. Jessica, this is what you wanted. Nick, please. 
Just help me out. Come on, I won't ask you for anything else. I promise. And we were together for so long. Can you help me out for old time's sake? <sighs> Fine. You know I bank with the leprechauns and I'll make a call and I'll have the money put in your account. All right, and then that's it. We're done. Remember, Jessica, this is what you wanted. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, it is, but I didn't think you'd get over us so quickly. I think it's time for you to go now. You have the money deposited in your account in a couple of days. Have it your way. Toodles. Goodbye, Jessica. For good this time. We'll see. All right, girl, I want to know everything. Start at the top and don't leave anything out. OK, it was amazing. He was so sweet. We stopped and got pizza at this little place we found while we were walking. Pizza? I thought he was taking you to Riverview Bistro. Oh, you meant Alex. Who else would I have met? Nick. Nick? Who's Nick? I thought you had a date with Alex last night. You're right, I did. But we went into Riverview Bistro and ran right into his ex-wife. Vanessa? Yes. What was she doing there? Oh, she was on a date too. Apparently, that's the restaurant they went to every Valentine's Day. Really? Yeah, it's their restaurant. And he brought you there? How tacky. I know, right? We walked in and they immediately started arguing. Everyone in the restaurant was staring at us. Oh, that is so embarrassing. <sighs> Tell me about it. So what did you do? I left. Good for you. And Vanessa's date walked me out. OK. That's oh. Nick. <laughs> He's divorced, too. And we were just walking and talking. And we found a little pizza place and went in. Really? It was so great. It was the best date I've ever been on. Ever? Ever. Girl, did you kiss him? Stacy! What? <laughs> Look, I told you I want all the information. Give it up. No, we didn't kiss, but he took my number and said he wants to see me again. And I take it you feel the same way. Absolutely. I really like him, Stacy. It was like we were meant to meet. <sighs> Look, Nab, don't go getting all invested. I mean, you barely know this guy. I know, I know, but... <sighs> It was all so magical. Look, let's just see if there's a second date. <laughs> Do you think he would call so soon? You never know. Hello? Hi, is this Nev? This is Nick? Yeah. Hi. 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 <laughs> I didn't expect to hear from you so soon. Oh, sorry, was I not supposed to call? I'm not very good at this. No, calling is great. I'm happy to hear from you. You are? Yeah, I had a great time last night. So did I. I, I, I was wondering if you'd be interested in getting together again. I would love that. Tonight? Oh, uh, I can't go out two nights in a row. I've got kids. Uh, right. Yeah, I, I understand. How about tomorrow for lunch? Tomorrow? Unless you have a regular job and can't. Uh, no, actually I'm self-employed. Me too. Okay, great, tomorrow it is. Do you like Howard's Cafe on Beecham? I, I've never been. Mm, it's really great, let's go there. Okay, um, should we say noon? Noon is perfect. The kids will be in school. OK. Great. Uh, I'll see you there. See you there. Bye, Nick. Bye, Nev. What? Bye, Nick. Oh, stop. Mm -hmm. Girl, I'll see you. You can say that I'm no good for you. But I know you don't believe it and Someday I'll end up with you And everyone can see it
So take my hand, baby, take my hand. I think that we should get together. So take my hand, baby, take my hand. I think that we should get together. I know that you feel it inside. I wish you wouldn't hide it. I know that you want me so bad. I wish you wouldn't fight it. So take my hand, baby, take my hand. I think that we should get together. So take my hand, baby, take my hand. I think that we should get together. I know you've made up your mind, but you're the last one to know it. Besides all of the events they host, Spirits Promise is a really special place. My daughters were in the equine therapy program there when they lost their dad. They truly have so much to offer. So if you're looking for a fun way to spend the day, you should try them out. Spirits Promise. That's where they're going to be doing the Star Spangled Spectacular coming up on July 4th, isn't it? It sure is. No fireworks, though, because it would spook all the animals. And you're going to be there with your family. Absolutely. And how about the mystery man? Oh, no. Do we have to go there? I mean, Nev, we've been invested in this since Valentine's Day. And that's when you met Nick. Yes, it is. So, where is it headed? (laughs) I don't know. You'd have to ask Nick that. Well, it's been five months now since you guys started uh, dating. So, has he met your kids yet? It's funny you ask that. They haven't met yet, but Nick's coming to the Star Spangled Spectacular to meet them. Oh, that's going to be fun. I'm going with my wife. And I'm going to be there with my kids. Maybe we can all meet Nick. Let's see how he gets along with my kids first. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> if you want to win tickets to check out the Star Spangled Spectacular as Spirits Promise, text the word SPIRIT right now to 1-800-330-9999. Missed any of the show? Catch up with the podcast. Just head to AnnaAndRaven.com. And we're clear. Nev, you're pretty serious about Nick, huh? I don't know. Maybe. We're taking it slow. Everybody deserves to be happy, Nev. That means you too. Thank you. Hey, maybe I'll see you guys on Saturday. All right, sounds good. TheAnnaAndRaven.com. Can we go inside now? That woman was talking about my ex-husband. So? You two are divorced. So she was talking about Nick. I mean, could have been a different Nick. It wasn't. Nick told me that his girlfriend's name was Nev. Wait. You still talk to your ex? No, I haven't talked to him since Valentine's Day. But he told me that his girlfriend's name was Nev. So? So? That's her, Nev, on the radio. I mean, there's plenty of women with the name Nev. Okay, with a boyfriend named Nick? No, that is my husband. Ex-husband. Whatever. What are you doing this weekend? Are you sure about this? Like, it hasn't even been five months. I know, but it just feels right. I know my kids will be safe with him. Introducing your kids to your boyfriend is a big step, Nev. Like, have you even met his yet? He doesn't have any kids. But you haven't been to his house yet. He doesn't live within driving distance. Then how does he get here to see you? He makes special trips, and he comes to see me whenever I ask him to. Does he ever ask to see you first? Of course he does. I just find it weird that you've never been to his place before. Well, he's never been to mine either. So you go right from dating to introducing your kids to your boyfriend? Like, I don't know. I just feel like there should be some steps in between. Don't ruin this for me, Stacy. What? I'm not trying to ruin anything. I'm just concerned about my best friend, that's all. And I appreciate it. But we're going to be in a big place with a lot of other people there. It's perfectly safe. 
If you say so. I do. Plus, I want to see what my kids think of him. And if they don't like him, they can always come and stay with Auntie Stacy. Stacy, I would never choose anyone else over my kids. You know that. I do. OK, I just want you to be sure. This is a big step. I know it is. And I'm sure I want to take it. Mm. Don't be so nervous, Nick. It's just a barbecue. Just a barbecue? Kingston, I'm meeting our kids for the first time. I mean, this is a huge step. Oh, yeah, but I mean... And her friends. Hey, you heard them on the radio. They're all going to be there. But it's a big place. And it's the 4th of July, oh, so... I need to look my best. I really want our kids to like me. I'm sure they will. You're Santa. Yeah, but they don't know that. No one knows. How am I even supposed to tell her? It is a little odd when you think about it. A little odd? I mean, what am I supposed to say? Hey, Nev. I'm Santa Claus. Surprise! I'm just gonna think I'm absolutely insane. Or you could bring her up here and introduce her to all of us first. No. Well, you can't keep this a secret forever, Nick. I mean, what are you gonna do during the busy season? Oh, I don't know. I just need to figure out what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. Here, wear this. Classy, all-American, you'll fit right in. <laughs> you think? Yes. Just, just relax and have fun, all right? She's got good kids. They've always been on the nice list. You checked? Well, we had to do a little bit of research. Yeah, I guess. Nick, you'll have fun. Just be yourself. They'll love you. You think? I know. Put this on a bracelet Because a charm is just a memory Now I have had all I can take Of suffering and sacrifice Now I am not helping one single being When I count myself out I am not doing myself a service When I push it all Are you going to marry your mom? Eden, don't ask questions like that. Why not? It's none of our business. It's totally our business. We're her kids. He's not wrong. Eden. Well, we don't really know where the future may bring us, but I will say this. I like your mom very, very much. Ew. OK, gross. Maybe it is none of her business. Nick, is that you? <laughs> Nick, what a surprise! What are you doing here, Jessica? Well, I came to the spectacular with Ken. It's Ben. And who might uh, you be? Uh, no one. Why don't you just go over there with your new boyfriend? Oh, no, we're not in a relationship. <laughs> not yet. And who are you? Nev Pine. Oh. These are my children. Oh, why, hello, children. Aren't you just adorable? And you are? Oh, I'm Jessica. I'm Nick's ex-wife. <laughs> oh. Didn't realize you lived around here. She doesn't. 
Well, I don't. Not yet, anyways. But I heard you talking on the radio about how great this little celebration was, and I just had to come check it out for myself. You know, I never thought that the Nick you were talking about on air was my Nick. Okay, I'm not your Nick anymore. Oh, that's right. Hey, Nev, did he tell you his little secret yet? We don't keep secrets from each other, right, Nick? Well, I mean, this is the first time he's meeting your kids, so they were a bit of a secret, don't you think? Jessica, stop. How did you know he hadn't met my kids? We talked all about it on Anna and Raven. Mom, can we go see the horses? Oh, not yet, sweetie. I want to make sure that your mom knows exactly who she's in a relationship with. Jessica, stop, please. Nick, what's she talking about? Nothing. Come on, Nev. Oh, <laughs> so you haven't told her. Nev. You're dating Santa Claus. That's where I know you from! He didn't sit down. Santa Claus, look, I don't know what you're trying to do here, Jessica, but it's not working. I think you need to leave. Well, why don't you just ask him? Nick, what's she talking about? His name is Nicholas Claus, also known as Father Christmas, Kris Kringle, Papa Noel, and just plain old Santa. Hey, lady, you need to leave. You're ruining our day. Don't you want to know the truth, little girl? Don't talk to my daughter. Wow. OK. Guess we saw fireworks after all. Well, nice to meet everyone. Happy Fourth of July. OK, come on, Ken. Uh, Toodles. Just so we're here, it's still Ben. Come on. No, just let me explain. Are you really Santa Claus? Get in the car, kids. But, Mom, why are you I so said young? Get in the car. Nev. Nev, please. Nev! Nev, wait. Are you for real right now, Nick? After five months, I introduce you to my children, and your ex-wife shows up to ruin our day? Look, please, just let me explain. Explain what? That your ex-wife is a, a lunatic who's going to turn up and ruin our time together? I didn't realize you had so much baggage. I know. Look, I am so... Sorry, I had no idea she was gonna be here. She's still your wife. What? No, of course not. I only ask because I really don't know that much about you. But you do. No, I don't. I was talking to my friend Stacy the other day and she pointed out that I've never been to your home. Well, I live far away. I've never met any of your friends. They're far away too. Or your family. Well, I don't have any kids, and I'm the last one of my line. Your line? What are you even saying? All your answers are so convenient. Look, I'm telling you the truth, all right? I promise. Promises don't mean much when they come from someone I don't know. But you do know me, and I know you. Yeah. Yeah, you do know a lot about me. How do I know you're not just stalking me online? Well, for starters, I barely even use a computer. Who, who are you, Nick? I'm not crazy. I never said that you were. I know, but you're gonna think I'm crazy when I tell you who I am. So I don't know who you are. Yes, you do know me, all right? You know the real me. Well, go on. I really am Santa Claus. Leave it to me to fall in love with a guy who thinks he's Santa Claus. No. What? You love me? No, Nick. I only thought I did. Yes, honey? Did you just dump Santa Claus? Hayden! What? Too soon, Hayden.
Nick. You're up late. Why don't you go on home, Kingston? Not really in the mood to talk. That's okay. You don't have to. Afraid I'm not very good company tonight. I'm not the one that needs company. A beer if you want one. No, thanks. I'm good. I've never seen you drink beer before. It's a far cry from milk and cookies. Nev left one of these for me on Christmas Eve. She told me she loved me today. She did? Sort of. Sort of. Yeah, it was a mess. Jessica showed up. She told her I was Santa Claus. Oh, no. Yeah. Now Nev thinks I'm delusional and doesn't want to see me again. And this was after she told you she loved you? Before. I'm afraid I don't follow. Doesn't make much of a difference, Kingston. It's over. Because Jessica made her believe that you were crazy because you think you're Santa Claus. Right. But you are Santa Claus. Yeah, I know. And I told her, but this made things worse. She told me that she doesn't even know who I am. Well, then you prove to her that you're Nicholas Claus and Santa. You're the same person. You haven't been lying to her. I know. Not have been hiding a pretty big secret. Do you love her? What? Do you love Nev? I do. I really, really do. Then you need to tell her the truth about who you are and why you weren't up front with her. How am I supposed to do that? She won't even listen to me. Doesn't even want to see me. Then you go to her and you make her listen. Get her attention. And how do you propose that I do that? I have an idea. I hope you're not planning on hitting me with that. Nick? What are you doing in my house? We need to talk. No, I'm calling the police. No, please. Nev, please don't. And why shouldn't I? You just broke into my house. If the last five months have meant anything to you, then please, just, just let me explain. And if you want me to leave after that, then I will. How did you even get in here? The chimney. You have exactly three minutes to explain yourself before I call the police, Nick. If that's even your real name. It is. 
my name. Here we go. My name is Nicholas Claus. I was born March 15th, 280 AD. Oh, this is ridiculous. You said I had three minutes. Fine. Go on. Jessica, the woman that you met tonight and I were married 1,700 years ago. Last year, on Christmas Eve, she came to me and she said that she wanted a divorce. And part of the magic is that, that if Jessica and I sign the divorce decree, then, then we go back to being 40 years old. I don't believe you. I know. It sounds absolutely crazy. But I can prove that I am Santa. Yeah, how? Last year, you left this for me. You know, because of the year that we had. That's impossible. And I also met Hayden that night. And he asked me to make sure that I don't... Drink and drive. I didn't believe him when he told me on Christmas morning. I told you I was telling the truth. Kids, go back to bed. No way, Mom. This is the happiest we've seen you in a while. I'm not going to let you ruin it. Neither am I. Me neither. You better be careful, kids. You don't want to end up on the naughty list now, do you? Go back to bed, kids, please. Mom, are you going to dump Santa again? I don't know. That's all the confirmation I needed. Come on, guys. <laughs> all right. Well, I believe my three minutes are up. Nick, wait. Why didn't you tell me? Would you believe me? No. Well, that's why. Nev. I didn't lie to you. I just didn't tell you everything about me. I guess being Santa's a big secret to carry. Yeah, it is. And I never wanted to keep it from you. It's just, I just didn't know how to tell you. I mean, I don't exactly look like Santa Claus. But that's really who you are? Nev. Yeah. I'm the same man that you have spent the last five months getting to know. Everything that Jessica said is true. <laughs> she was just a little bit more blunt than I wanted to be. Yeah, <laughs> she ripped that bandage right off. Yeah. Jessica left because I am Santa Claus. I chose to be Santa before we were married. And, and I guess that she just thought it was a, a phase or something. But I can't stop being Santa. It's who I am. I wouldn't want you to change for me. It's my responsibility to, to bring happiness to the children around the world. And I do have a workshop in the North Pole. And I do have a staff. Elves? <laughs> <laughs> elves. Kingston is my head elf and my dearest friend. And he convinced me to come here tonight and bring you the beer. Smart guy. He is. He knows that I love you, Nev. And he also knows that, that I started falling for you that first night over the greasy pizza and the flat soda. But I understand if, if being Santa Claus is too much for you. I just wanted everything out in the open. No more secrets. Not anymore. Nick. I love you.
love you too. I see mommy kissing Santa Claus. The lyric is, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. No, I see it right now. Quiet, they might hear us. We can hear you. Go back to bed. <laughs> Where were we? And gentle elves, it is now my distinct honor to introduce, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Claus. Are you sure you're gonna be all right tonight? We'll be fine, Mom. It's just one night. And we'll have Kingston watching us. Get me up, let's go. We'll see you kids in the morning. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Are you ready for this, Mrs. Claus? As ready as I'll ever be, Santa. And that night, as my wife and I delivered presents to children around the world, I realized that I received my very first Christmas present, the family I always wanted. The end. So 